USA Gymnastics again needs new leadership. After only nine months on the job, Chief Executive Carrie Perry has resigned under pressure from her colleagues and criticism from the athletes. For more than 50 years, USA Gymnastics has served as the national governing body for the sport in the United States. And again, that organization is reeling. After just nine months on the job, Carrie Perry is the latest at USA Gymnastics to be shown the door. Perry, who has no background in gymnastics, had caught heavy criticism in her handling of the fallout from Larry Nasser, including what many felt were boilerplate sound bites in her testimony in front of Congress. We have many responsibilities to the gymnastics community. None are more important than the safety and well-being of our athletes. The growing pressure came from the U.S. Olympic Committee's new CEO, who publicly said she was concerned over the hiring and almost immediate firing of USAG's elite development coordinator after she improperly tried to contact gold medalist Ali Raisman directly. It was another embarrassing move that had the USOC talking about shaking up the USAG leadership, and this weekend, that resulted in Perry's resignation. Also today, in addition to the original group of 333 women, more than 100 new Nasser victims have come forward and filed claims since the announcement of the settlement with Michigan State University. September 10th is the deadline for victims to come forward.